Yeah, we're sticking with the biggest party in sport, the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League, the CPL. The St. Lucia Kings booked their pace, place in the playoffs following a seven-wicket victory over hosts, Guyana Amazon Warriors, on Thursday night. Electing to bat at the Providence Stadium, the Warriors posted a competitive 167 for five from their 20 overs. Azam Khan and Shea Hope were the most impressive batsmen with scores of 40 and 38 respectively. But the Kings made light work of the total, easing to 173 to win with 15 deliveries to spare. The victory was set up by a 132-run second wicket stand between Sri Lankan Banuka Rajapaksa, who made 86, and New Zealander Colin Monroe, who contributed 55. Thursday night's result, the first defeat for the Amazon Warriors, leaves the table looking like this. Ghana Amazon Warriors, Trinbago Knight Riders, St. Lucia Kings already booked for their playoff spots. Top of the table, the Warriors and the Knight Riders both on 13 points and the Kings three points off them on 10. Barbados Royals on seven points, Jamaica Talawas five, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots bottom of the table on four points. And uh, of course the top four after the 10 games in the group stage will qualify for the playoffs. So we know Ricardo and Mara, three of the four playoff teams at the moment, and there's only one spot left, the Barbados Royals and the Jamaica Talawas eyeing for that uh, position. Yeah, I was looking at the table, I noticed the Jamaica Talawas, they have two games left. I think those will be must-win games if they are to qualify. Barbados Royals as well, they have a really good chance. But Lance, the thing about it is it comes down now to how these teams execute in matches. And we can't say there has been an outright dominant team other than the Ghana Amazon Warriors and their winning streak was ended last night. So these teams will, of course, have to put on a really, really good showing. I think it's extremely close, and that's what makes this CPL so exciting. It's so close, so it's any teams want to take. Mm. Uh, Ricardo, how, do you, how seriously do you take the Amazon Warriors' defeat last night? Because they had already qualified, and they didn't play a bad game. I saw Imran Tahir, the ca captain of the team, speaking post-game, and he suggested that um, the team played well and, and he didn't look overly bothered. Obviously, he didn't want to lose, but he didn't look overly bothered by the result. And I wouldn't be overly bothered by the result if I were the Ghana Amazon Warriors. In fact, um, maybe I'm a little bit superstitious, Lance and Mariah, but in tournaments like that, I actually don't mind when my team loses a match at a stage that is not crucial for the competition. The Amazon Warriors already through to uh, the next round. They will finish in the top two, already through to the playoffs. They will finish in the top two, um, so they will have two bites at the cherry to try and get into the championship match. And sometimes you don't want to go into the playoffs unbeaten because it, well, it, they've more done than it before. Ghana Amazon Warriors more than any team else. <laughs> they've done that before. And the only match they lost was the final, Ricardo. And I just want to say something. Because I was in the CPL yes. um, around the players in Trinidad and Tobago, I had the opportunity to talk to some of them about it. I will not call names because it was off the record. Yeah. So I will not put any player, of course, on the sports magazine where everybody can hear. But I was speaking to a player from the Jamaica Talawas, a senior player who Talawas. was a, yes, okay. who has a great reputation. Yes. And he is really good friends with Imran Tahir from the Ghana Amazon Warriors. And I remember him saying the moment that the Ghana Amazon Warriors had an unbeaten streak, he called him. And he said, you need to lose one, you know. You need to lose one. <laughs> well, of course, Imran continued and the team continued winning and he got the last laugh. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I see it as well because I think when you go through a competition like this and as you continue to win and win and you remain unbeaten, the pressure builds, especially when you get into those knockout situations. All the pressure is on you because you are trying to maintain this unbeaten tag and now when you get into the playoffs, you pretty much have to maintain that unbeaten tag if you are going to go on and win the title. And sometimes I feel as if that pressure can end up being too much. So maybe not a bad thing that the Ghana Amazon Warriors um, lost last night. But there are some big matches coming up on the weekend. Lance and Mariah, especially for the Jamaica Talawas. Well, not especially uh, for the Jamaica Talawas and the Barbados Royals. The Barbados Royals, they have one match to play. They finish off against the Ghana Amazon Warriors on Sunday night. I suspect that Providence will once again be packed for that encounter. 
and the Talawas have two morning games. They go up against the Kings and they will play the St. Kitts and Nevitz Patriots as well. They have to win those two games to try and get to nine points, which is also what the Barbados Royals can get to. So potentially we could have a situation um, where what head to head or net run rate yeah. determines yeah. which team gets into the playoffs as the fourth and final qualifier. In my opinion, this is a thrilling end to the preliminary stage of this season CPL. Yeah. yeah, and Pete Russell touched on it earlier on when we were speaking to him, that on their best day, each team can beat the other. That's how good all the teams are. I know the Patriots would be disappointed with their poor run in the, in the tournament so far. But, of, you know, of the top flight teams, it's hard to differentiate between them with regard to uh, their quality. Because right. it just match, it's just a matter of how they turn up on the, on the day or, in many cases, on the night. Yes. Because um, they are all quality teams. I love that. Yeah. I love that, Lance. Because for some time, you could always look at the team on paper and say, this is the team that's going to win because they are so dominant. And from the onset, you could walk away and pick a favorite. Yes. Now it's a bit difficult to pick an outright favorite. And I like that about the tournament because you get these different players. And I spoke about it at the top of the show. Players that are young, they're new to the competition, coming out and shining like superstars. And I think dreams are made here in the CPL because this is where other players get the opportunity to showcase their talent. And who knows what opportunity opens up for them. Yeah, you know what? And Pete Russell mentioned the Rakeem Cornwell 100 on the night at Kensington over in Barbados twice when we spoke to him yes. and I think that the, the impact of that moment um, tells the story and quite frankly I cannot cannot remember any moment in CPL cricket since its inception that is as indelibly printed in my mind as that moment in fact beyond the CPL that is one of the most memorable and um, moment-defining <laughs> events I've ever seen in sport. And it you've done a lot. So it, was, it was tremendous. L Lance Whitaker. Yeah, Lance Lance Whitaker. Whitaker. I'm serious. I, I, I know you were going to tell me about Karsten Barholm and so on. No, 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 no. I was going to say, I never took you as the person who would be overcome by recency bias. No, but... No, uh, no it, it's not a recency bias. Can. It is not a recency no. bias. Okay, let, let me see if I got what you said correctly. Yes. Did you say you yes. can't recall another moment in the CPL, that for is CPL for sure. equivalent yeah. to what happened with no. Rakeem Cornwall, no. with Rakeem Cornwall no. century? I can't, no. Another moment that I cherish I could think is, of a few. is a, is a no-look six that yeah, the Spice we... Man hit of, was it Sheldon Cottrell? A, a beautiful swing I remember over it. to mid-wicket. And he didn't look at the ball. No. He just did this. It was in oh, our class was moment. The, the, yeah, don't, well, give me your moments yeah, then, so, so don't get me wrong, Lance and Mariah. The Rakim Kono was moment special. was clearly special for, for so many reasons. Yes. But I have an issue with you saying that you can't find equivalent moments. But, but let me try and see if I can come up with a few. Um, <laughs> Chris Gale yes. being bowled at Sabina Park by O'Shane Thomas. Oh, that was tremendous, yeah. I, I, that I will never forget. That that's one. That's a big moment. Yeah. Um, I don't know why his name is slipping me. Wicketkeeper batsman opener, um, Jamaican. He's played for the Guyana Amazon. Chadwick Walton. Chadwick Walton. Oh, yes. Who always writes bowlers into his book. Yes. Being sent back to the pavilion. Yes. And written up into okay. a book. Can I ask I like you before that. you even like continue? It. Yes. Can I ask you? Those are good moments yes. for real, and I accept that. But would you put those moments over the Rakeem, Rakeem Cornwell moment? Above? No, that's, that's what we are I discussing. I wouldn't put it above. But, you, but, but, but the way you said it, Lance, no, it, was, it was almost to suggest that there is nothing that can match it. No. I think you could have a debate about yes. several moments that yes. could match it. And maybe you would find as well yeah. that there are many individuals who would have moments um, that supersede the Rakeem Cornwell there, moment. There was a catch the that Fabian Allen year. took on the boundary. Yes. I think the match was in Florida. I'm not. I think it was in Florida. Yes. It was stunning. One of the best catches I've seen in all of cricket. Yes. But the Rakim Cornwall moment. Yes. Was not just about the hundred. What was it? It was about what he has been through. Yes. And the dropping of the bat. 
I've never seen a cricketer do that. Yeah. No, no, no. I've seen I've seen bowlers knock over Chris Gale's thumbs before. So yeah. I know that O'Shea and Thomas moment was big because it was Sabina Park and Chris Gale was playing for We've the We've seen Patriots. many catches too. Playing for an opposing so, team. So the story there was special as well, yes, you know, Lance, because yes. Chris Gale had just left yeah, the but, Jamaica Tyler yeah, was. He'd come back to yeah, Kingston to yeah, play. Um, O'Shea and Thomas yeah. was the new kid on the block. Yeah. Um, and here is Chris Gale, yeah. the master, the T20 superstar, the yeah. legend of T20 cricket, yeah. facing up to this quick upstart. Yeah. Everyone wants to see this battle, and bam, leave alone. I think it was LBW. Was it bold or was it LBW? I think um, he was bold. I think bold. it was bold. bold. I remember yeah. the thumbs yeah. lighting up. his pad or something, but he was bold. His yeah. thumbs were shattered. Yes. But I've seen Chris Gale's thumb shattered before. But, I've, but never the story seen, I've never it, seen a batsman take it his last. bat and drop the bat in the way that Rakeem Kwon. Okay. I've never seen that. By the way, And because of his clear. personality, too, <laughs> uh, what we've seen from him, I think yeah. it was out of character. Yeah. Let, let me be well, clear, right? Like player. I don't know that it was out of character. I think that is very much Rakeem Cornwall's character. I think that's the type of individual what, he what is. What indicator did you have before before then I, that I, it was? I've listened to his interviews over time, Lance, yes. and because you don't survive yes. the type of criticism and critique that Rakeem Cornwall has and still performed at a high level yes. if you don't have that little special thing about you yes, yes. as an individual. Yes. Right. Um, so it wasn't a major surprise for yes. me that he did that because I get the feeling he is that type of an individual. Well, I, I will say this, Ricardo. Yes. I respect your, your, your rebuttal. Yes. I respect the moments that you have given to, con to contradict or to... To, to match Rakeem Cornwell's moment. Yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm still sticking he to my position. He hasn't changed his so, mind. So, 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 like, it's, it's so not. I'm, not, I'm not trying to change your mind, right? Mm -hmm. I actually have no issue if you say that Rakeem Cornwell's moment is the most compelling moment that you have witnessed yes. in the CPL. Yes, it the is. The issue I was having when you said it initially, which is why I took you up on it, yes. is because... I mean, it it's almost it as undisputed. if you were suggesting. Yes, you were suggesting that <laughs> nothing else, nothing else can he come close like to well, this. The reason why and that was the issue I was having. Okay, so the reason why it sounded that way, viewers, is because I was sure of what I was saying. <laughs> Not to say that there weren't other moments that were brilliant as well. No, but I was sure in my mind close. that for me. But you did yeah. say it with a Rakeem Cornwall flair. Yeah. I thought he was about to drop your stuff that could too. Come close. <laughs> the suggestion was that there is no other moment that could come close close yes. and I am suggesting that there are many other yes. moments that could come close even if you still end up picking well, the Rakeem Cornwall That's moment. a good way to put it. I'm just sure that it would be number one. <laughs> if those moments that you've mentioned are a close second, yes. I'm fine with that. But Rakeem Cornwell's moment is number one. Number one for Lance Whitaker. As, as we would say when we were kids, no number bout, one. No, no bout a doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Sports Bank Zone is giving away tickets for the games in Guyana. Answer the following question by WhatsApping 1876 564 7661. Let's do that again. 1876 564 7661. The person with the first correct answer wins. The question Name the years the Jamaica Tallowers won the CPL. Very, very easy question. Mm. Mm. Mariah and Lance know the answer. Break time. So do I, but we can't tell you. We have to go to a break. <laughs> It's how we play, play.